Now let us do chapter 5, Services and Storage. From the book Ionic 6, Create Awesome Apps for iOS, Android, Desktop and Web. Authored by Andreas Dorman. In this chapter, the outcome of this chapter is to have services as well as storage. So here I'm showing you the output of this app here. So you see it has favorites menu, under the menu it has favorites, regions, two types. So there are some two types here, there are some regions here. So let's say I click on a region, you get inside Bond City, what are the various tools that are available. You can request it, you can also add it to the favorites. I'm not clicking any of them right now. So if I go back to the favorites, it says you did not choose any favorites yet. So basically, you want to store some things into the favorites and then you want to see. So that is a storage element here. Plus, you want to access the data from a, through a service from a database. So let's have a look at the code which is already given to you. So if I go into SRC, which is under Chapter 5, Service Storage, I have stored it under Ionic Projects, which is under BM2301, under Desktop Folder. You could arrange your structure according to what you want. So let's move in into the App Folder. I'm going to open up the App Routing file here. So let's go here. This is your app-routing.module.ts. Let's see what it's, what's there. So again, it is similar to the previous experiment we did or previous uh, tutorial we did. If it's empty, it goes to favorites. Favorite says where to go, regions, two types, list, details. And in the case of detail, we added something extra with the details of ID. So if I go in here, click on this, click on something, you'll see details slash six. So let's say if I'm going to say detail.7, you will find maybe there is something for 7, but it does not appear properly here, right? So you can move on. You click on something, you click on something else. This is a details 9, right? So that is why it's called details colon ID. It's passing a number here, okay? And then accordingly, you move on and open the details.module page, and then you have the request page as well. So these are different links provided or routing links available here. More on, if you see the app.module.ts, you have so many modules added here. We have what is called HTTP client module, which is used to read from the clients from uh, an URL. You have Ionic storage module. This is for a storage available to use it. Right, there's what is called local storage. That is what is called Ionic storage. You will see different types shortly in this lecture. Or in this practice. Moving on, you can also check what is called as app component.ts. Okay, so let's go on to component. Here again, we have the app pages, which is similar to before. So remember, this is just an icon. So if you say bus icon, right, you will see a bus icon here. So if you know different types of icons, you can use them just to make things look nicer for you. So let's move on. And this is it. And then here you see you are importing the service here, okay? You are actually initializing the service here. So if you go in, here you have pages, which is similar to what we have seen before. So let's open up the favorites page, favorites.html. So here we are using favor service.tools instead of using the tools before, like before. Now we are using favor service. You're actually referring to a service and the tools is coming from the service itself. So you are referring to it and then how do you access the favor service? Favor service, how do you access it? So let's go into page.ts. You will see here favorite service is SRC app services favorite.service. So you are referring to a specific service here. And here we are going to, we are just passing the service into the constructor. So let's move on and then check under pages. You have these pages under app, you have the services. So this is a service which is new, which was not there before. We are adding a new service here. This is the service, okay? So here you are creating a service. You are also having a storage to store the elements here. So you can see how do you initialize a service. You are referring to a JSON. You are reading things from the local storage here. And then you also are able to add tools and then remove tools and so on and so forth. So there are various elements here, various options here. 
So let's start doing this. We have seen what it is supposed to be. To do that, our first step would be to copy the chapter four codes, which is the navigation codes. So I'm going to just take the latest one I've created, chapter four, navigation one, under projects folder, under Ionic, under BM231, which is inside desktop. Copy, paste it. I'm just going to make a copy. By the way, remember it's a large folder because it contains many modules. So once the folder has been copied, then you're going to rename it as chapter five services and storage. Because we already have the folder name chapter five services and storage, we will call it as chapter five services and storage one. Okay, we just rename it uh, slightly differently. Let's see how far it has copied. It has just copied 13%. So once this is done, you're going to generate some kind of services here. So let's move on. Okay, let's close this. Let's move into. So we are going to upstairs a folder here. Okay, so let's keep this ready. And then I'm going to also keep some other elements there. All right. While it is copying, let's try to understand some other parts of our code which we have. Let's see from app. You go into services. You have Bob Tour service. Okay. This is a favorite service. This is the Bob Tour service. Let's see the Bob Tour service now. So this is the Bob Tour service. Here I'm having injectable. And then I have HTTP client, which is basically accessing a client. We use what is called Lodash. Okay. So please note Lodash is basically a library, which is used to, you can do sorting, you know, it's a, which helps you options for many things, sorting, arranging things. So we are using, if you have a list, so if you go back to the list here, in the regions, it is sorted alphabetically, correct? Otherwise, it might not be actually sorted. So we use Lodash to do that job. And we're also referring to the favorites service here. So this is the Bob service. If you refer to it here, we are accessing a Firebase page here. So what we are trying to do, what we are trying to do here, our page comes from our data, comes from a database, which is under Google Firebase. If you go to Google Firebase, you can create your own account and then you can add a project to that console, then fill in the data. You can fill in the data using a JSON file if you have or you can create uh, data appropriately. And then you need to make sure the database is accessible by people. So which means the rule says you are able to publish your data set or database. So once it is there, you can access it. In our case, we are accessing this data. Okay, so this is a data actually provided by the book. So if you go into the Firebase, you will see this is a Firebase console, right? And if you can move in, you will find that it has the necessary uh, entities there. So you are trying to access it to connect to it. And then you are trying to get the regions from there. You're also trying to get the tour types from there. And then from there, you get the tools. So there are three parts there. There is region, there is tour and tour types, three things here. So if you notice carefully the regions, you say this dot regions equal to data. So whatever data you get, you supply it to or you store it under regions, okay? And then if you go up, you will see regions has been declared as a public property with any, okay, any type. Similarly here, if you get the tool types, here also you are reading it, but then you are not just storing the data, you are sorting it. This underscore uh, dot sort by basically comes from the low dash, okay? So this one. Right, so you are loading, you are using the load as to sort it based on the name. Here I'm sorting based on title. So you can sort on sort based on different elements here. So here again, we are sorting things around. So these are things and you have a get regions uh, function because you are calling the get regions, get two types like this. So this means it refers to the current one, the actual one you are referring to. Right, so you can go in, get regions, get tool types, and then this is referring to the base URL, regions.json, and this is, so base URL has already been defined, which is this one. So when I'm accessing anything locally, I say this dot something, okay, because it's referring to the current object, this object. And then why there is this here, this um, quote here? So by using this, there's a dollar, which means there's a variable coming up. So you get the variables data, fill it up, okay? This is executed 
and you have the variables data being stored here. So it goes to that that path here, which is um, mentioned here as Bob, Bob, Bob Tours app, fired by SOIO.com slash, you will have regions or regions.json. So if you go down here and then you will say this slash regions.json, okay? This is what you're actually trying to access. So you see this is the regions.json. If you want to access something more, you can say tools. Okay, so these are tools, right? It has a few of these tools are mentioned. And if you're looking for tool types, okay, it is null. So basically, if you see here two types, it is a small t, not an uppercase t. So type should be small t. So, so you can choose all this. You can try it out. Okay, two types of JSON. Uh, it keeps changing, so you can use a new browser to choose. So these are certain things you can understand here. Okay, let's move on. Hopefully our code is copied. This is now still 68%. So it's going to have, it's going to call what is called as a two promise. There is a method which is going to be called. So that will return the data for you. And with that data, you can display it the way you want it to be. Right, so let's see if you have the folder already there. The folder is there, but we have not renamed it. So let's wait for it to be copied. So let me explain the service here. If you go into the services folder, here we have two files. One is called the name of the service dot service dot spec dot ts. And you also have a name of the service dot service dot ts. Okay, so you have two files. This spec is normally used for testing purpose. The other one is actual service file, which we are referring to. So if you look at the service file, you have you have imported the injectable, which is done. And then through the injectable, you are actually providing in as a root. Okay. So these things are by default there. This one, you're doing it. This one, you've done it. Then you want to pass in the path, which is actually the base URL. So you pass the base URL. And then you call a method called, you create a method called get regions. This is basically referring to the regions.json and you have the dot to promise here. So in the constructor, it is important that in the constructor, you bring in the HTTP client. If you don't provide the HTTP client, then it won't be able to access a new URL. It cannot access a new URL, so it will return uh, nothing for you. Right. So as I've explained to you earlier, you have this quote here, the single quote here, the front or the and. This is not actual code, this is a special character, as you know, available in the keyboard to the left of the number one, right? So you use it, so this one will replace um, the this dot base URL with the variable, so the value will be replaced here, and then you access the path here. Then you can get it using two promise. So remember this dot get is an observable, okay? So what we do is this will be converted into the two promise will be converted into a promise. Then you want to use this. So this Bob tour is your service. You want to use this service in the regions page. So let's go into the regions page. Let's try to see how it is being used. Pages, you go into regions and then let's access the regions.page.ts. So if you go in, so here in the constructor, we are injecting the service. Remember, don't forget to inject the, uh, inject the service. So when you inject, you have to make sure you have imported the service, okay? Without import, you can't bring um, the service inside the page, okay? Once you have done it here, now you say this dot region. So again, region is a local one, should be defined first. This dot BT service, BT service is a name given to the service you are accessing here, dot region. So it will go here. Here you have the regions, right? Here is a regions. This region is basically accessed here. So the region is filled by data because you are using this dot regions with the data. Data is coming from the URL, base URL which is provided. So like this, you read it, you store it, you access it in here. So it goes like this. So you have to import, don't forget import, then you need to uh, add it in your um, 
uh, in your constructor and then you got to access it. So these are the few things you got to do. And if you want to display it in the HTML part of it, make sure you do this. You go to the HTML page and you have like this. If you want to bring in the regions into your listing, you can just bring in the region, okay? Region dot name. And you can display it over. So let's try to uh, see a few things here. Okay, let's try to see how we are going to do this, right? So now that we have copied the CH4 navigation one, I'm going to rename that one here. So let's call it as, let's rename it. Call it as CH5 services and storage one, okay? So now this is our new folder. We are going to work on this folder. So let's go back here. You will say CH5 and this is the one. We are going to access this. Actually, I press tabs to reach the right folder. So now if I go in and if I'm going to put Ionic service, it's actually the one we did, Ionic Surf. It is the chapter four, the navigation page. So let's create things what are necessary here. So we're going to do the next step. Ionic G, G means generate service services dot bob tools uh, please note here this is going to create services if you go into src app there's only pages here there's no services here so actually we are creating a service here or generating a service here and the name of it is called bob tools so just press enter so once you enter you can go here you will see it's going to create um, something called as services okay it only has pages so it will create services here so once the service is ready right we can use it so let's go on you will find that is services there are two files generated bob2 service spec.ts and bob2 service.ts spec.ts is actually used for testing purpose so we are not going to use it so let's try to use this file let's try to update the bob2 service.ts so let's close all these files here so close all the files, let's say, I'm gonna close everything here. I'm gonna load in this file here, which is coming from the new version. And the older one, let's go back and compare. Go to page app, services, bob to services, okay? So let's go step by step. We are gonna inject things, we are gonna modify this code step by step to see how things are going to work, right? So right now, the step one is, to create in this service, you're going to access a base URL. So let's say you're going to have the base URL right now, okay? So if I'm going to use here inside um, the class, right, inside the class, I'm going to use a base URL. So once I have a base URL, what I'm going to do with the base URL, right, I'm going to have a method called regions, get regions. So let's copy this get regions method here. Uh, remember it's a method which is outside the initialize method. So I can just put it here, okay. So I have a region, I can save it. And let's say what happens. So you go here, go to the same folder, just say ionic surf. We want to live code to see if it impacts something, if something goes wrong, gives you an error or not. So here it says, let's say, let it open. Still generating. So let's go back. So here you have uh, the HTTP. We have done the HTTP. I mean, we have done the base URL. We have done the get regions. Okay, this is what we have done. Let's see what happens now. Still generating. So now I previously have told you if you want to access a URL, you need to have a HTTP client, but we have not imported the HTTP client here, right? So let's see what happens. If you don't import, you might get some error. And then from there, we can move on. So we are just using the regions here. So in the constructor, how do you import? So if you see it here, you have a favorite, you have regions, right? You have types, if you click on regions, there is nothing really happening here. 
right? There's nothing happening. If I go here and regions, I get a few things, which is not coming here. Why? Because I have not yet called this regions method. I have not used it yet. So we go here to the um, constructor and you will say we want to use the HTTP client, right? Save it. What happens next? So once you save it in the constructor, okay, nothing really happens here. So let's try to reload this page. Nothing happens. Right. So now we need to inject the constructor. How to inject the constructor? We have to import it, or uh, import the HTTP client. So we are going to import it here. So we imported it, and then we are just calling what? We are calling few things here. We are just using the get regions here. So get regions is the method which is going to actually call the URL and get the necessary details for you. So let's look at our code, the updated code here. This is the updated code. So you have the base URL, you have the constructor, which is calling the client, and then this. Now, this is just a Bob2 service. It is not used in any way. So let's try to use this service under uh, the, the regions page. So let's go here. Let's go to regions. I'm trying to access the original page here. This is uh, the updated ones. So these two. And let's go and access the newly created ones. App. Uh, pages you have the regions and we are going to use regions.page.html and regions.page.ts okay. we have two of them here so let's go to the ts page in here what you need to do are few things now right so we are going to bring in the bob service here so let's try to bring in the service so our objective is to display whatever you are getting from the service here right so let's go here and try to call this one here. So let's go to the init and then you do this. So this dot BT service. So we are referring to a BT service. Okay. So if I do that, immediately I'm getting some errors here. It says data is as implicit any type. BT service does not exist. Regions does not exist. You get lots of errors because they are not defined right now. So let's define the regions here. So we go step by step just to see what really happens. So I um, just added the region. The region error is gone, but your BT service and data has issues right now. So what is BT service, which is not defined to us right now? So BT service is basically, you have to bring in the Bob Tooth service as BT service through the constructor. If I do this right now, again, it does not know what is Bob Tooth service. It knows BT service now, but doesn't know what is Bob Tooth service. So you need to import the bob tooth service. So bob tooth service, you have to bring the service into the region page. Okay, so now that we have imported, so it says it's compiled successfully, no errors now, right? But then if I click, there's still uh, nothing here, okay? So it does not happen, nothing happens. It just goes like, uh, it doesn't bring to me what I'm really supposed to get. Why? Because I have not made any changes in the HTML page, right? So what I have done now, I have accessed the Bob2 service in the regions page. I have also brought in the data from there stored in the regions here, but I have not displayed the regions in the HTML page. So UI is not filled with the data. So let's take this, go to the HTML here, outside the header. So now that I'm doing this, so if I go and click this, okay, so let's see if you have any errors here, you can check. So I'm just going to go to the page and I on content, I on list, and then you are getting from the regions and you do this. Now going back here, okay, nothing really happens. I click, I'm going to reload, right, let's say I'm going to go here, remove this, reload, it goes to favorite, regions, nothing really happens. Two types is okay, but in regions, there's nothing happening here. So what is the problem right now, correct? You will see it's not able to get the data correctly. There is one more issue here, which you need to provide is, you need to add the HTTP client module, okay, in your app itself. So if you see app.module.ts, let's go here to the app 
app.module.ts this is our page right this line compare whether this is available in the newer version app so app.module.ts so here HTTP is not included HTTP client module is not imported so we need to import okay so let's see is there any other error it's just compiled successfully click this still nothing appears okay only the favorites appear but not in regions so what is the other issue out here yes i have imported but i have not included it properly correct so here if you go in you will see there is this one called http client module going back All right so this time it comes it took a little time to come in so now remember we are now able to access our service so let's understand the concept behind it so you have a service called bob2 service which is this one the bob2 service is accessing the url getting the necessary data for you and then it is using a method called get regions you get the data right and that data you have to access it under a pages or a regions page so you invoke or import and you bring in inject the bob2 service in the constructor and then you are reading it to display it you have to display it through the html page of the regions page and then still if you want to access it you need to have access through what is called http client module that has to be added under app module.ts so it is added and then remember you import it as well as you import as a module here so once you do that you are able to access the service now you are accessing the service right now right back here if i go here and see um, under more tools i'm going to develop a tools here go to network okay so i'm just going back here all right so if i'm just going to click this you see it's under favorites right i would want to see the menu here so if i'm going to say regions for example you see the point is this there is a regions.json file there's a json file here which is downloaded quite a good number of times okay so i go back every time i click anything it will keep on downloading that file so that is something I don't want. I don't need to access that file. So this is called regions.json. Right, so if I go back, click again, this is a two. Right, so if I go back to regions again, keeps loading that file. So if I don't want to download that file frequently, right? You see, it says you can get the file again, again. If you don't want something, these are small files, so that's why it's not giving you troubles. But if you have it as a larger file, you will be in uh, trouble for us to access it. So how to make this happen that you only read it when you need it, okay? You will read it at the right time and you do it, correct? Right? So to do this, let's go back uh, to our code here. So we are basically accessing now the app.components.ts file. Okay, app.components for .ts file. Let's try to access it. Here we have app.components.ts. This is the updated one. Let's go into here, app.component.ts. In here, what's happening? What's the difference here? Here there's an app page. And then you are initializing the Bob2 service. Here we are not initializing the Bob2 service. So let's initialize the Bob2 service here. Okay, so instead of constructor here, so you are initializing it earlier. That is the idea here. So once you initialize it earlier here, correct? Once you get it here, you need to have the respective methods called initialize, which you don't have in your Bob2. So this is your Bob2 service. Okay, this is the new one, this is the old one, correct, or the updated one. So here you will see there's a method called initialize, 
if you go in here there is no initialize method so let's write an initialize method right now okay let's have our initialize method so this is our initialize method i'm just going to copy the initialize method Okay, into my new one. So let me just. So in this initialize method, what I'm going to do, not using any of this, I'm just going to call this one. This dot get regions, then data. I'm just getting this. So actually, this initialize is invoking the get regions method. Okay, I'm just reading the get regions method here. So let's try to read the method here. All right, so let's put things a little bit in that so it's easy to understand what this code is all about. Okay, so now this is done, and this get regions is something you are invoking. So let's make it easier. You have a constructor, you have an initialize, which is actually calling the get regions. So the get regions is not directly called by anybody. So if I do this now, if I save this, go back to my command prompt, it says the region does not exist, okay? And there is also an issue of app component being declared. So let's try to sort this regions one. Basically, you have to initialize the regions, okay? Which is not initialized before. So let's go here and initialize the regions here. So I'm just initializing. So that error is gone, right? Still, there is some other error. It says app component is declared in the declaration, but it's not a directory or a component or a pipe. Either remove it or add it like this. So it's giving you some conditions of um, app component. So let's go in and check the app dot um, module dot module dot ts. Okay. Before looking at it, let's also look at app.component.ts. We have just seen the Bob tool, so app.component. So this is app.component of the original one. This is our own what's version. So here what we are trying to do, here if you look at it, we have not imported the Bob tool service. It's not imported, but we are using it in the constructor. It's injected into the constructor. So that is a mistake here. So let's try to go here and then import the bob tools so i've imported the bob tools also now i have added it here so now it says it is successfully compiled correct so you need to understand how to check for these errors so like these kind of class errors keep it at the last but try to do this what is missing what is not found something is missing try to do that so going back here so if i if i go back i'm able to click i can just close this the developer tools I have a region, I have two types, okay, favorites, you can check all these things right now. Right, so these are a few things you are doing. You can also check your uh, regions page. Let's go and check the regions page. So, um, that is our regions page. So, this is our regions dot, um, we want to look at the regions dot ts file. This is the regions ts from the old one and this is the one from our new one okay so here you can see we are just uh, including regions and then bt service instead of calling the get regions okay you can just use the regions directly right now so like this you are not calling the get regions method anymore okay because get regions method is now called by the initialize so you just need to get the data here it will automatically call the get regions there okay so it will call it directly so let's close this so that is done you will not see much difference here but right now it doesn't get any you can see it gets the data sometimes you won't get anything you need to click again because it is downloading from the internet or it's accessing from the internet once that is done now let's, let's try to extend our service okay so we have done this right now it's fine now if you want to extend our service we have only used the bob tools in the regions page and if you want to do it in the remaining pages let's say in the tool types page so i'm just going to close a few things here just to make it easy for us to work on the remaining part of our code so let's move on 
So to do this, first of all, let's take the Bob Tours service. Uh, let's go to the service here. Uh, Bob Tours service. This is the one. And we are also going to use the services from ours, which is Bob Tours service. So in here, you see you get get regions, right? But if you go down here, you have get regions. You also have the methods for get tour types, get tours. So let's get uh, these ones okay let's get the two types right now we are going to work on the two types so let's go here after regions you, know, you just have the method called get tools similar method but then this time is getting the two types and once you have the method you need to call the method inside your initialize okay because that is where you are invoking correct so just go here and call your get two types Okay, so this is the one you are now calling your uh, get to types, right? So once you have done that also, so this is done for the code, get to types is done. So we need to place the service in the two types page because you have the Bob tool service is updated. So go into pages, you go into the tool types, and then here you have HTML, you also have the TS page, okay, the TypeScript page. Go back to your own, the newly created one, go to the pages, go to the two types, two types page.html, two types page.ts. Okay, there's nothing done here, so let's try to bring in things here. So I'm just going to copy it because this is what we did in the regions, it's very similar right now. So I've done this, I save it. So every time you do, you can check there is something issue here, Bob service is missing. Again, it's a matter of importing, which is not done. So let's go here to the top, just import the Bob tools. Okay, remember you have to import from SRC app services, huh? the folder should be right. So once it is done, you can see it says it is done, but still it has some issues. It doesn't know what is called get tool types it is declared here. It doesn't know the tool type property does not exist. So let's move on here, right? So this is our code and this is the two types. Okay, so two types is done. This is all done. So let's go back here to see where is error coming from. Two types per TS does not exist on the type on, um, you know, it says something is missing in the Bob tool service. Okay, it says two type is missing. Okay, let's go back let's check the service here this is the original version let's go here here you are using the two types but that is not defined regions is defined two types is not defined so let's define the two type here okay so let's save it let's see what happens now it's compiled successfully so that part is done so let's go back to our two types Right, the regions you're getting two types uh, nothing being displayed because you have not yet modified the html page so let's go back to the html page this is the two type html page so literally you have to have this part here let's go down here let's put this one here so go back click this click this yeah so now you get the two types as well so these are a few things you got to do if you want to get things done. So now this is done. You have the data here. If you compare this output with this output here, this is alphabetically sorted, but this is not. Okay, it's not sorted alphabetically. So you want to do what is called sorting of these things. How do we sort? We use a library called Lodash. To use a Lodash library, we just go and change it in the Bob Tool service. Otherwise, you got to do uh, every place, right? So let's go and do it in the Bob Tools service itself. So go into the Bob Tools service. Here, let's import Lodash. Number one is important. We need to import anything if you want to use it, right? So you have the import right now, but it's not being used. So if you go in, it says could not find the declaration for Lodash implicitly as any type. So it doesn't know, right? You might get some errors. The difference here is this. Instead of using get to types, we are going to send in as 
a sorted version. So here you go down. Okay, sorry. Let's go here. This is the difference. So only difference is previously you are just getting data. Now we are saying dot sort by data name. Okay, so you can go here, just come on this. So now this is done. All right. Again, it says Lodash has some issues. Okay. So let's try to sort it out. Copy this line here, paste it before the Lodash line. So now that error is gone, compile successfully. So please watch out if you get an error in terms of Lodash, you got to issue those statements. And now it is sorted, you see, from bicycle, boat, bus, and so on. So we could sort them using this, okay? It is important to have, this is a comment, but still it is needed. Add T as ignore, so that it can ignore some of these declaration errors from Lodash. This is done. The next step we want to do is we want to filter the data. Okay, so that will be the very next step you're going to follow. All right. So let's move on to the Bob2 service. Here we are going to do what is called as uh, filtering of data. How to do that? So we are going to do filtering of data in um, the get tools. Okay, so just go copy it here. So here we have the two types. After two types, you have get tools okay so here we are reading the tools here and then you are going to say dot then then you get the data sort the title and then you do a few things but there is a some there are some issues right now here right if you go here you get some errors you see get tools does not exist data is not there there are lots of errors you are getting in because we don't have the get tools method which is added here so let's try to add the get tools here Okay, so we got the regions, we got the two types, now we are getting the tools as well. Okay, so this is get tools. So once this is done, so that error is gone, but still there are some other errors. So tools does not exist in the Bob type service. So meaning this tool does not exist. Okay, the reason is because it is not initialized. So we have to have this option here. So go here and then just paste this one here, right? This is done. So that is gone, but the fab service is not there, okay? So the reason is because you are using fab service, but then we have not brought in into the constructor. So if you go into the constructor, you also have to inject, okay? So remember, whenever we are trying to access anything, it has to be injected into the constructor. Now, if you save it, still we want one more error. You doesn't know, it doesn't know what is called as favorite service. This is not known, right? So you got to go and then you got to have import of that service, which is this one here. Right, so let's see, you go and do this. Right, so now save it. Now everything is done, but still it says an error. No suitable injection for fav service of class Bob service. So it doesn't have. Basically, it does not find the module favorite dot service, right? So favorite dot service was not uh, generated. You have not generated such a service, so you can't use that service right now. So if you want to do this, you have to create the favorite service as well, okay? You have to create the service, then only you can use it. So let's go back. We're actually trying to complete our service, right? Let's go step by step. You have what is called get tools. And then in this get tools, instead of using uh, the favorite service right now, okay, we can do this first. Right, so we can use this option right now, which means you are not yet using the favorite service. So let's comment this. Okay. So right now, we are not using the favorite service, but it is saying now you are not using favorite service. Why did you import it inside? Why did you inject it inside the class? So we can just take this favorite service out. Okay, so that is not needed. Favorite service cannot be found because you have imported. So let's remove that as well. 
So you don't need this first of all. Okay. Now it is there. I can just click. Right. It can take some little time and it can load. Right. So we have done the get tools here. And we also added the get tools. So now make sure you bring it into the list page now. Right. You can go into the list page. Let's go to pages. Let's go to the list. And then let's try to bring in list page.ts. So let me open the list page.ts. This is the list page.ts. And then let's see our list page here. This is a list page. List page.ts is here. So there's almost, uh, it's, it's quite empty right now. So let's try to import. Let's import the Bob service first. Okay, so this time we are going to go Bob service is imported. Once you have imported the Bob service, you want to bring in the tools. Okay, so we import the tools, you are initializing the tools. Then you have to go to the constructor, you have to include the Bob service right now because we are going to bring it inside. And in here, in the this dot tools inside here, you can bring in the tools. So this is under init. Okay, so this part is done. Once you have done this, you need to show them in the list page. So you have to open the list.html page. Right, and here is the list.html page. So literally, there is nothing displayed, so we need to have. Okay, let's try to copy the list ion list here and the content All right so right now what do you want to add inside the content is uh, let tour of tours and then we just want to display the title so let's take all this okay that's it so if i go back if you didn't see any error here right now let's see yeah, compile successfully. All right. So if you want to see, this is called as list. So it's a list, but there is nothing right now in this page. All right. You can get into the list right now. And you can also add some kind of buttons. If you want to have a back button, you want to have a forward button, you can add them. All right. So I'm going to just add the header page with the header. Right, so just put this. It says some mistakes here, so it says selection does not exist on the type page. So when you see this, normally the error comes in into this page here. Okay, so here there is some selection which is not there. Selection has been defined here, but it has not been defined in your own pages. So you need to go and add things appropriately if you are going to do that. Let's say I'm not going to add the selection here right now. Okay, I'm going to go back to the list page HTML. I just want to add it like a, it's like a button. That's it. So I on button, I can add it. And then instead of selection dot name, right, I can just remove this thing here. Yeah, just remove this. And keep it plus plus like a list. So then there should be uh, no errors per se, right? Okay, so you have done this and then if you want to navigate from regions page to the list page, you want to go from one page to another, uh, that also could be done. So let's try to do uh, some of those things there, right? You want to go from one page to another page, okay? So how to do this? By the way, we have to uh, can also do some more changes. So I'm just going to leave the linking from one page to another, right? So if you want to bring in, let's open up the regions.page.html. Okay, let's go here. Let's focus ourselves on regions. Okay. And then here, okay. So here and here what you're trying to do, if you want to navigate from regions to the list page, you can do like this. You can go here, you can just remove this. You can comment it or you can remove it, whichever you're comfortable with. 
save it go back all right go back to our code here go to the regions now all right you get the answers now we have link see it is linked now it is linked how this is linked because you have from the regions you are getting the list with the region and the name and there is a link router link right you can click it can open to the very next page like and you can see you can also list you can actually see what is the things here if you go in again going to the more tools you go to the developer tools so you can check elements what are the elements you are getting you can see the sources you can check network so let's say on the application side what are you getting you can get all these uh, parts you can check what is coming up from where and what are you getting okay these things you can get through. you can even uh, filter them by certain things so let's move on to see how you can do furthermore filtering so you have the region so here you have the listing here right and this is based on the region if you want to put some criteria you can do that so here is a filtering see the difference between what you have here here you are reading you're reading the regions listing it you are just listing it here you have a criteria here okay you are going through some conditions right now so let's take it let's put in some of the criteria here right once that is done you click right so here we have put some criteria are we using the criteria but we are not using the criteria yet. So to use a criteria, we got to go to the list.page.ts file here, right? We have not given any criteria now. So if you go back here, you see you are getting all the tools here, right? So if you want to filter it based on some criteria, then you have to import this, you have to add this. So let me just remove the tools and you add it. This is a criteria. Right now you'll get errors because certain things has not been declared. Could not find dash, could not find selection, and so on and so forth, right? So to do this filtering, we are actually using the low dash. So let's import the low dash. I'm also adding the slash ts, uh, ignore slash slash ts. So now that is gone, but the selection does not exist and activator root does not exist. So these things does not exist. So we are using activator root, we are using selection. So let's try to define selection here, which is a local variable. Okay, so here you have selection is done, uh, but then the activator root is not there. So to have the activator root, you need to import activator root here. So let's import. Remember, activator root is used if you are passing data from one page to another. Okay, and then if you just import, it's not enough. You also have to bring it into the inject it into the constructor. So here is a constructor, only the BP service is there, BOP2 service. So right now it is compiled successfully. Okay. So you can go in, you can select, right? And this is what it is. You are just doing based on some uh, filtering elements here. Okay. So for example, if you go like this, you can go back. If you go surrounding area, you see different, different list appear now, right? For each one you can get different elements here okay based on what you have selected the criteria comes in uh, to bring in better so you can do the same thing for the tool types as well right if you want to do the same you can go in let's try to go into the two types pages two types go into the html here see here there is criteria being done so let's go and check our two types page two types here there's no criteria set up here, correct? So you can just go to, this is the one. So just copy this one, adding some criteria, which was not there before. Okay, so I think I've missed some things here. It should be, yeah, this is an item, item, that's okay, we save it. But then nothing will be done because it's just in the HTML page. You have to include it into the respective uh, TS pages. If it is included, then you will see. Otherwise, it's not. So here, if you see, this is a two types of TS. Uh, this is the page. Uh, this is two types so TS. There is a page as well. So there is no other changes. So let's go back. 
check, click, click. Accordingly, things will change. Okay. These changes are done in the service over here. Everything is done. So once that is done, so we are able to filter the data right now. Okay. Once you have done the filtering, you can do what is called as um, a route parameter. We are going to do a route parameter right now. So what's going on right now? Let's go to the let's go and modify uh, the root path. Right. So go back. Let me close all the files which I opened just now, just to make our learning easier. So I'm going to go here, go to the app pages. I'm going to open what is called app routing module.ts. This is app page. And then from our newly created one also, app routing module. So here you see it connects list, details, these things are done. The only thing is in detail, we want to have specifically with the ID. Okay, so that is missing right now. So you can go here, just replace this with the one with the ID. Okay. So this is just listing. If you click, it is again listing. Right. So we don't have details. If you see details, then you can get it there. So once that is done, you can now create the link in the list page. Right. You can go to list page dot HTML page. Let's go back to pages list list page dot HTML. So here you will find here this is the page. And let's go into pages list list.page.html. This is the one. So here just, uh, you have from tools, you are just generating the tools here. Okay. But actually, you need to include these lines here. You're going to have a root forward or root link. So just go to this, provide the root link here, save it. All right. So again, there's no much errors on this. And then you have to do things inside the details.page.ts. So remember, all these has to be appropriately changed. If you don't, things are not going to work. Okay, so one change is repeated on many places right now. Go into pages, details, and then if you open up the detail.page.ts, and then you can go here, pages, details, details.page.ts. This is the one. So the difference in this case right now, you're going to have an ID being passed, not just a tool like this. Okay. So here you see we are using an ID. Okay, and then you are assigning this ID to something. Right. So here, basically, in the in the book, you find they say this just use ID. So you can come on this line. We don't need this one right now. So you get the ID. Based on the ID, you are going to need the. Okay, this might be as soon as expected. Okay, so it says it doesn't understand, null is not assignable, BT service does not exist, okay, there's underscore not there. So you find a lot of these errors. So if you say underscore is not there, then you need to go here and import the low dash. If the BT service is not there, right, so because Bob service is not imported, plus it also has to be passed through the constructor. So let's pass all of them here. Okay, so you need actuator root is passed, but the Bob service is not. So we are passing the Bob service. Again, it says argument of type string Bernal is not assignable to uh, to a string. So this is not possible. It says. So the error is basically on this line here. Okay. So sometimes what happens is the ID is null then you can't do this so what you do you just put a condition here if it is not null only you do this okay, save this so now it is compiled successfully so you check whether there is a need for a not null checking or not accordingly you can do it okay so this is just a root parameter so you can go to 
uh, region you can select any one region you have a listing you can click you can request for a tour right now so this is simple it's very important to check this not null okay right otherwise it's not able to work it out it's not going to assign things it's going to give you the error which we saw a few minutes ago let's move on so now this is done we can check what is called as storage so the services part is complete now so let's go into storage side so for storage we are going to generate a new service okay so let's let's clear this screen cd chapter 5 we are using this folder right so in here i'm going to issue ionic b service services favorites okay so if you go in here and check compare go here you have to app you have the services you only have one service here in the completed version if you go into app if you go into services there are two services favorite and bob tools so now we are generating the favorite service this is a favorite service right now right so we are generating this service it will create a file called favorites.service.ts file then once it is ready we are going to update this service file okay so let's go back and uh, close all these uh, files here so once it is done let's go to this and then open the favorites again it, it creates two files one is for testing purpose which is a spec file the other one is the original file which you are going to work on that is actual service file so let's see whether it does yeah it has now created you can go here so this is a new one and that is the old one right so let's click this now we are going to update the favorite service it's a blank service kind of nothing is there right so let's see how to add things into this service we are going to modify a few things here number one we are going to go and create a service right now so let's have the initialize method right so if you go in add initialize so initialize you have um let's say the first id and these two are the okay two holes got filter two holes and so on so forth so we have done this let's say it's going to give some errors right now if i go back it will say there are things probably but right? because we are not yet using the service so let's save this right so this service is something we are going to use which you have not invoked yet so let's go back and say add tour you're going to add this tour right now okay so in that tour you have the favorite we have the tools and then we have window dot location dot so we are using the local storage right now so this is being done so you have an initialize method here okay and you have an add tour method here so you can also include a remote tour so you can have add include as well as remove right so you can do the remove method here right so in the case of remove we also have favorite you can remove you are not using ionic storage so that's why i'm just commenting the last line we are just using what is called uh, local storage okay and you need this line as well right so this is uh, continuous you don't get any error right now because we have not yet included the favorite service anywhere so let's integrate the favorite service into our app so that we can get errors we can correct them so what you do, you go to our Bob service, Bob tool service. Uh, we are going to import, integrate it here. Okay. So here, this is the integration part. We are integrating, we are bringing in the favorite service inside the Bob tool service. So just add it. So once you add, you will expect it will give you some errors. This does not exist. That does not exist. I've just included, nothing else. Okay. So once you're including it, you also have to bring it into the constructor. Right? When you import, you bring it into the constructor, which is not there. So let's try to bring it into the constructor right now. Okay, so that is done. Second task. Then when you go into the initialize, 
you want to bring the favorite service okay so you will say um, favorite service you are bringing in so let's go back here let's make sure things are in order okay so this is what you need So you have the get regions, you have the tour types, and then you have this one here. Okay, let's go. Let's save it. It still has some errors. It does not exist. So it's, the error is coming from favorite.ts. Let's go back to the favorite.ts. Um, you have not initialized the variables here. That is one of the common mistakes you have. So let's initialize them. Right. None of them has been initialized. So let's initialize. The um, error, there's one more error it says, this is in favorite TS, there's a semicolon expected, there's something wrong here. Line number 27, let's see. Yeah, so this is, you have not commented, you have to uncomment it. So this is done. So the favorite service now has been included into app, it has been integrated into the Bob service. So it is ready now to use, okay, you added add tools, integrate, and if you want to include now, use it, we have to use it in the page, the favorites page. So let's move on to the app, and then let's go into uh, the pages, favorites, let's open up favorite.page.ts. And let's go back to our new one, app, pages, favorite, favorite page.ts. So in here, see, we are just using uh, tools like this, but instead we are going to use the favorite page one. Okay, so just remove this, put it under favorites. If you do that, automatically you will have error because we have not imported the favorite. You also not, um, you know, you're not imported. That's, that's one of the mistakes right now. So let's go here, import the favorite service. Okay, still it says favorite.php.html has some issues. It still refers to the tools. So we need to go back to our page to check the favorite.page.html. Also, we need to update. Because here it is referring to the tools. And now tools is no more there. Tools has been removed. Correct. So we have to go back and get this one. Using the favorite service. Tools is not coming from the local file. It's now coming from... Um, the favorite service. Once you have done, let's check. It says compile successfully. You can go here. Right. So there's nothing as of now. So if I select, right. So let's say go here and then request. So nothing has been added right now. Right. You got to do a few more things to add it over. So you have done in the favorite service. You also included there. Right. Then you can also include the favorite service in the details page so that you can add it to uh, when you go in, when you click on, you have the list, you have the details here. You need to have somewhere where you can click. So like this, if I go in, region, and then from here, you have this, add to favorites. This is not here yet. So let's try to do that option right now. Okay. So in order to do that, um, what we are going to do is to go to the details page. Pages, details, let's open up the details.html as well as the details.page.ts. Okay. Similar, we go here, pages, we go to details, details.page.html, details.page.ts. So in the HTML file, HTML, you will see you want to have a button called as add to and remove to. Okay and we add them as what is called as a footer, okay? It's a footer, so ion footer. So go to the content, you will say here, ion footer, okay? Just save it. And then you will see it still says the details does not have the ice favorite, does not exist. You get all these errors because you have not updated the TS file yet. So go to the TS file, okay? In the TS file, you need to make sure a few things has been updated. So initially you make it as is favorite as false. Okay. So once that is done, it still says is favorite remove does not exist of any type in the details page. 
So you can go here, you have, this is the original one, this is the updated one, and here you have tools.find, yeah, this line, we have not included the favorite, but it should be added to the favorite. Once that is done, it still says favorite service does not exist. Okay, let's see whether you have included the favorite service. It's not included in the constructor as well. So you have to go and add it in the constructor, inject it into the constructor. Once you inject into the constructor, remember you also have to have the import of it. So let's say we are importing it. So done. All this is done. So now it is compiled successfully. Let's go in, let's go in, click this, click this. Yes, you can add it here. Okay, so now you see it is brought into the favorites. So this is actually the data is coming through what is called local storage, right? Is that a good idea? Basically, local storage can be removed by the app, by the uh, mobile devices. Let's say if there is a low space, this space, it will remove them. And also index DB will be removed. So instead of having a local storage, we want to go into what is called as ionic storage. 